Hey everyone, I am at the Five Seasons Brewery on the rooftop where I just parked, going to Atlanta Smashable Social Media Week, which is over there. How many gift uh, iTunes cards? Two, three. Four. We've got four. Says Will from AJC. Um, what else we have? We have some t-shirts and we also have some AJC notebooks. And then we also have Bell and Bell and Sandra. We're trying to give us a list of the names All right, folks, we're going to need you to quiet down, please. Look at the bar. Look at me. Look at the bar. Look at me. Look at your man. I'm not the horse. Okay, here we go. And so the first first thing we're going to give out is uh, two certificates uh, to Dunwoody Wellness. Dunwoody Wellness. So here's what we're giving out. One certificate is for a medical massage. The se second certificate is for a derma skin facial. All right. All right. So can you can you go ahead and uh, yeah pick a card from the fishbowl? Mark Halpert calling Obama a dick. Ladies first. Yeah. She's, she's calling herself Mark Halpert. <laughs> I just want to see who's keeping up with the news today. I used to actually work uh, for the same uh, news firm that Mark Halpert did. And What's he like? like? He's a douchebag. <laughs> what can, yeah. This is going on for the world. To, this is cool. Mark she she is called up Mark Halpert a douchebag. Nice. Wait, wait, wait. Um, nice. <laughs> what else you got to say, Greg? <laughs> That's it. That's so it. I, to, I think that's enough. You want to add to that? Yeah. Right. All I gotta say is, it wasn't appropriate for him to say that on TV, especially. No. But he was kind of set up. Like they kind of egged him on. And then after he said it, they were like, "You didn't say that, did you?" Because they said like they have the tape delay thing going on. So I don't know. Like he shouldn't have said it. But if you look at the whole thing, he was kind of set up. Now, why do you think he did it? Because he wanted to say it. I mean, you gotta know the cameras are rolling. And when the camera, when you're sitting in front of the camera, you always know that the camera you may be hot or live. And you know, he messed up, and uh, he apologized for it, but, you know, he's probably done in terms of his broadcast career, at least in the short term. You know? Why do you say it? Is it your camera stuff? <laughs> she's very, like, you know, we're all polite, right? She's like... <laughs> you I mean, follow her on Twitter, dude? Uh, yeah, yeah, I haven't read her. What kind of tweets?
what you putting out there? That's some real. She keeps some Spacey real, bro. Spacey chick. All you need to know is all right there. <laughs> this is Grace and Daughters. Introduce yourself. I'm Spacey G on Twitter. <laughs> it's all right there. So, Lonnie, you know, I want to talk to you later about being a video blogger because you're very good at what you do. Well, I've only worked in the news business for about what? Only a billion years. Yeah, it's what I do. Years. It's what I. It's what I do. It's, it's all I know. It's all videos. All I know. He went so. to TV kindergarten. Wait, wait, wait! I gotta ask both of you a question. You, okay. Will media survive? Will journal? Will papers survive? And I'm not a journalist guy. I'm a tech guy. So some of them. Well, some of them probably. Yeah. yeah. I still like to. Okay, so who's gonna die? Who's gonna die? I think that the organizations that. Uh, perhaps they don't adapt, they don't get on with the mobile and the, the apps and, um, you know, the thing about journalism is that it used to be about serving the public, now it's about serving their commercial advertisers. You know, I've worked in the mainstream media, um, I always, you know, told the truth, uh, tried to find the facts, but the bottom line is that, you know, they're, they're trying to appeal to their audience so they can get the advertising dollars, that's the bottom line, that's the name of the game. And when that has happened, I mean, it sort of shifted the focus, so... I think that uh, it's, it's a balancing act right now. Social media is the equalizer. So whatever happens is going to happen. But, um, you know, it's survival of the fittest right now. That's really how I feel about it. Grace, you want to add to that? No, um, I always speaks for me. Cool. Always has, That's, always works. That's great. Hey, right, Lauren, introduce the lovely couple. You guys get together. <laughs> Tell us about them. Okay, this is Lamar and Ronnie Tyler. They are a couple, an empowered house couple at that. They launched a blog called Black and Married with Kids, and it expanded that to a really fantastic series of online videos and regular films about black relationships. And they've been featured on a lot of media publications. They were featured on Essence's list of power couples on the move, along with the Obamas. They continue to do great things and inspire other people to share their messages because, as Lamar likes to say, the gatekeepers are. So, how are relationships in Atlanta today? Congratulations on your blog, your blog rather, and everything else. So, how are relationships in Atlanta? Oh, they're great. So far, we've been here about a year so far, and there are a lot of couples down here that are supporting marriage and healthy relationships, and so we're networking with them, and we find that the relationships are great. Yeah, you know, and, and I agree. I think uh, what you do is you never take towards like-minded folks. So, you know, if you're positive, you find other positive people. Um, and, you know, you find people kind of gel and do what you do. So, luckily, we've been able to connect with those kind of people since we've been here. It's been cool. Hey, tell me the URL. It's www.blackandmarriedwithkids.com. Yes, I like it. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, John, so you're back. <laughs> I am back, and this is what an Austin bash is like every month. Every it's month? It's like this. At South by Southwest, it's about four times this oh, come big. Come on through. Come on through. <laughs> it's about four times this big at South by Southwest. So this is, a, this is an Austin bash. Oh, my God. I'll be right back. Hey, Grace, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm very well. So introduce your friend. I need you on the dance floor, my man. Look at the bar. Look at me. Look at the dance floor. I'm on the horse. Right here. Come on. Come on down. Don't worry. He's not the winner. Next up, we have Jake Nate, copywriter. Jake copywriter? Nate. Nate. Next up, we have Adam O'Donnell. Adam O'Donnell. Are you with? Aaron. He's with Aaron's Furniture. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Adam. Next up, we have Jake of Social Media. Okay. You ready? 
It's Lewis, right? Alright, so Ladies and gentlemen, are we ready for this? Give it an iPad Now audience, you're gonna help me judge who the best dancer is Lois, are you ready? Timing, 30 seconds Alright, here we go, on your mark Get your cameras out, get your video cameras out on your mark, get set, go Lewis! Time's up, time's up, okay that was Lois. Alright, next up we have Adam O'Donnell from Aaron's Furniture. Okay, you ready with the timer? On your mark, get set, cheer, give it up for Adam O'Donnell! Just go with it, man. Okay, that was Adam with Rhodes Furniture. Next up we have Jake Nash with Moxie on your mark. Remember this interpretive dance, social media. That's right. You ready, man? On your mark, get set, go, 30 minutes. Are you speeding? Skeet, skeet. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, that was Jake with Moxie. Next up we have Jeff. You timing, Vanna? Are you ready then? <laughs> Alright, here we go Jeff, on your mark, get set, go! <laughs> you got it man. He's looking for partners. I'll go. Oh, come on. No, I'll go. Yeah. All right, that's good. That's good. That's good. All right. Pretty good. That's pretty good. Who's doing the smurf? All right, next up, what do we got? We got one more. We have Allison Ivy. Here we go, on your mark, get set, and go! Take it to the... Keep it going, come on. Come on. Was that five? Or we have one more? That was it. Alright, contestants, come on down. Come on back. Come on back. We need all the contestants. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give them an additional 45 seconds. 
an additional 45 seconds. Uh, all right. Winner of this will get an iPad. This is audience participation, audience judge. Here we go. On your mark, 45 seconds. Get set. Go. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I come back around. Alright, alright. Ladies and gentlemen, if you think Allison, Allison Eld should win the iPad, make a little bit of noise. If you think my man Jake from Oxy. this out though before I give it out.
even like New York and San Francisco and even Chicago, you get to feel like a slightly bigger fish in a smaller pond. And I was born and raised here, so I, I love Atlanta from the bottom of my heart. So I'm just, I'm really happy to have been a part of, of this ridiculous event. So. And thank you for producing this. Oh, of fantastic. course. Yeah. Of course. Great. I mean, it was so much fun putting it together. And the, the feeling for me of watching all these people stream in the door, I felt like my eyelids were like glued open because it's just amazing to me that with a little bit of influence behind you, you can, you can make stuff like this happen. You can get 400 people all in the same room together. So. Okay, thanks a lot. Of course. I'm coming back to talk. <laughs> It's a social media city. We love connecting with one another. We love to learn about our friends, our co-workers, our visitors, and we love to connect with one another and see what we can do to help each other. That's what we like to do. You got Rich Sullivan. That's me. I love that activity. I love that activity. <laughs> nice job. Nice. Perfect. Hey. No, she's great. <laughs> hey, Rodney, get close to her, make her comfortable. Okay. Tell her, tell my viewers about Midtown Patch. Well, uh, my name's Amy. I'm the editor of Midtown Patch, and Patch covers community news for Midtown. So we cover place of fire, business, entertainment, events, anything that's happening in your neighborhood. Um, you know, no, no story is too small for us. So we, we really like to residents informed of what's going on, uh, you know, just down the street. And Twitter handle? Uh, my Twitter handle is at Midtown Patch. <laughs> Sean. It seems like it's so Oh, it's, you look fantastic. Thank she you. says she want to be in the video, see? Yeah. <laughs> you tell them, right? No. I told her. Hey, nurse <laughs> made her, man. That's what nurse I made her. Nurse made her. Wrong. Look. <laughs> Wrong. Wrong. Oh, Wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Sean, how do you like this event? I'm enjoying myself. I really am. I got a free t-shirt and free You got a free t-shirt? I, I didn't get a free t-shirt. You're bad. That's wrong. Hey, wait. Maybe next time. Hey, you owe me a free t-shirt. <laughs> that is so bad. I don't know who's it's from. Oh, wow. Uh, Buy true. We make brands for social. Nice. Interesting. Nice. Hey, Sean, thanks a lot. Thank you. Jennifer Hutchinson. Yes. You did the social media for the Dallas. It's the Super Bowl gospel wow. celebration that is in impressive. Dallas. So wait a minute, I gotta ask you a question. How did you stay warm? <laughs> I was freaking cold there. That's why I didn't go. It was actually a Super Bowl gospel this past year. It was the first time we utilized social media. And because of the social media, um, it was a sold out event. Wow. Sold out and we had a waiting list of people. And because we were able to keep people updated on the whereabouts of the um, NFL players prior, of the celebrities that were attending, um, we kept them in, uh, updated on Twitter, on Facebook, and they knew that the event wasn't canceled. And so they knew and they, they were passing information about, you know, different droughts to go because of the snow. So it, it was just, it was phenomenal. Great. And now you're mommy blog. What's your blog? Mommy to mommy. Hey. What's the URL? Sure. It's uh, mommy to mommy.com. It's M A M I, the number two, M O M M Y.com. So, what does this party say about Atlanta and social media? Well, you know, Mashable, of course, is everything about social media. I mean, they are social media. So, having it here in Atlanta has been just wonderful. I mean, we're number two, you know, in social media. So, I mean, you know, Mashable, Atlanta. Number two? Yeah. We're number one. Don't know. Don't care. Wait, wait, wait. Two. I think you're number four. <laughs> Hey, either San Francisco or New York is number one. That's okay. from the Bay Area. So That's okay. Area. We're coming up. Wait, 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 wait. The Bay Area has to stake its claim, okay? I'm just letting you know, okay? That's okay. We have love for all of you. So, but definitely, this is the place to be in Atlanta for social media and um, just a welcoming community. Well, hey, Jennifer, I'm going to be reading your blog. Perfect. Thanks. Tell my viewers about you. Are you a mommy blogger? Is that it? Um, well, I... Mom, and I consider myself more of a travel blogger. I do things to do in Atlanta with kids, and 
also things to do from Atlanta, so it's not just, it's anything from a, um, an afternoon to a day trip to a weekend getaway to a vacation. Wow. URL? It is fieldtripswithsue.com. So give us a tip. Um, well, in Atlanta, if you are looking to go to the Atlanta Zoo, you can get a free pass at any of the libraries with your library card, Family Pass. Awesome. Thank you. And then the other thing. Wait, wait. Ah. So I also wrote this Whoa, book. Oh, look at this. She breaks out with a book. That's right. Well done. It. 100 plus free and cheap things to do in Atlanta with kids. What? Available at fieldtripswithsuit.com backslash 100 free. Wait, I, I, I've got to get one of these books. 100 free, cheap yeah. things to do in Atlanta with kids. I don't have kids, but I'll get the book anyway. Hey, it's great for people who don't have kids. There's a lot of fun things in here that are great for date nights or just stuff to do. Thank you. Art Brady, you sponsored this event, or actually your company. Right? Yep, Vitri came out. We did the photo booth. Uh, we're excited to be here. It's great to see social happening in Atlanta. I'm really glad to see so many people here because it's taking us away from this kind of redneck mentality where we can't do anything other than tractors. <laughs> so hey, you we, said it, I did. we have computers, we know how to use the internet, and we're damn good at it. So wow. it's really exciting to be here to do all this. And just did you give her a shirt? Them. Yeah. Well, you got a shirt? She's got a shirt, yeah. <laughs> Hey, yeah. so thank you so much. Yeah, no problem, Zane. Have a good one, man. Hi. So what do you think? Hi. Hey, so first introduce yourself. Late. I'm Kristen Ingward. I work with Vitru. And? Hi, I'm Sarah Thomas. I work for Vitru. Hey, so what do you think of this event? Uh, I like that these events are awesome. I mean, especially when talking about... <laughs> oh, she said her name! Oh, sorry, I missed it. <laughs> like social networking, I mean, nothing can really replace interaction face-to-face, -face. and I think it's important, yeah. What say you? I mean, I've met a lot of my Twitter followers because everyone has come up to me and been like, oh, I follow you on Twitter. That's scary. No, that's a great thing. I feel so popular, so it's really awesome. So I meet all of my fans. I like to meet all of my fans, which is always a good thing. I like her fans. She's got a fan base. She does. Not to mention that she looks like Sarah Jessica Parker, right? Oh, really? No, she looks like, she looks like Buffy, right? Oh, Sarah Michelle Gellar? Yeah. Go for it. She can rock it. Yeah. I mean, usually I get Britney Spears, but I'll go with it. I'll go with Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You got it. Hey, thanks a lot. <laughs>